Hi, my name is Bailey Christensen. I'm a freshman from Abraham Lincoln High School. Four score and seven years ago! I am a human dictionary. I can define any word, and I know your mind has rejected the idea. Because unless I have a photographic memory, there's no possible way I have the dictionary memorized. Give me a word. Any word. Because. Because is a conjunction. Because is the reason her eyes shimmer blue on a forbidden journey into silver moonlight. Because is why grass intertwines over old bones and the rot of death is masked by the fragrance of life. Because is why you cry yourself to sleep at night and no one feels your pain. Let's try a shorter word, though no less complicated. Us, a noun. Us is fire on a cold starry night that never quite fizzles out. Us is barn cats curled together in the hay against howling wind. Us is old photographs and vintage t-shirts worn threadbare because they still smell like your other half. And there are two words so cosmically difficult to define because their meaning changes in every context, written by different hands and spoken by different lips. First, there is you, a noun. In this case, you means fire and brimstone. Beautiful from afar, but scorching me up close with your anger. You are galaxies colliding and comets exploding in a shower of stardust that kills me with its white hot sparks. You are pages ripped from tightly clenched fingers and a voice that rises far beyond us even when nothing is wrong. Most of all, you are smoldering coals that haven't been smothered and could still burn my feet shades of scarlet and black. Then there's me, even better and worse a noun than you. Me means withered flowers whose petals still stain pages with my forgetfulness. Me means old books that you haven't yet ruined with rough hands and smooth swirls of piano ringing through the air that you silence with a word when they kiss your ears. Most of all, me means a fadedness and hair that disguises the bruises your knuckles left behind, but not the mind beneath. And I ask if your dictionary can tell you the truth as only a human can. Can it define the way eyes flick away before telling everyone nothing's wrong? Can it define the walk of fear so no one takes notice like he did? Can your words in black and white whisper the confessions of what happens behind closed doors? I am a human dictionary. I can define any word.